Hello and welcome to this IBSA series of podcasts on considering countries to where UK residents may wish to emigrate in light of the non-don changes introduced by the Conservatives and the likely tightening of these rules under the new Labour government, including bringing foreign trust assets within inheritance tax and increasing capital gains tax rate to income tax levels, uh, and particularly those aiming at uh, fund managers. My name is Roy Saunders, founder and chairman of the IBSA, the International Business Structuring Association, which is a multidisciplinary global association of entrepreneurs and their professional advisors dedicated to sharing their expertise with each other within a great networking platform. Our current series of 15 minute podcasts will review beneficial tax regimes in Italy, Spain, Portugal, Malta, Cyprus, Switzerland, Singapore, and Dubai. So today I'm joined by Darren Joseph of Moore's Roland Asia Pacific, who's an international tax advisor primarily based in Singapore, but who seems to be popping up in lots of other countries as well, and who has worked in international finance all of his adult life. Uh, Darren, uh, we've had a lot of uh, chats together. Roy, thank you very much. Once again, it's an honor and privilege to, to have a, ch a quick chat with you. My name is Darren Joseph with HEG.Tax, which is a member of Moore's Rule in Asia Pacific. So we're a team that seeks to demystify the sometimes confusing world of cross-border tax work with private clients all over the world. Singapore seems to have taken over from Hong Kong to a large extent. Are you finding people, particularly expats, coming from Hong Kong over to Singapore? Yeah, I mean, definitely. That is somewhat of a cliche, the whole influx, not just from Hong Kong, but from Taiwan as well, and from mainland China. However, there is an argument that now that Hong Kong has achieved a steady state, that high net worth individuals, service providers, and some funds are returning to Hong Kong. And the reason why is that if you're really making a China play, arguably you need to be in Hong Kong. The rules are what they are, so you just need to play by those rules. So I think as a gateway to China, it's hard to beat Hong Kong. Okay, well, I think, mm -hmm. you know, what you've said, which is very interesting, and I will be talking to lots of other advisors mm -hmm. about the beneficial tax regimes in their jurisdictions. I think what you said about the non-tax considerations is probably the most important thing. So you're not really swimming against the tide. I think I agree totally with you. I know I had a, a client who uh, was uh, selling his company and going to Jersey so many years ago now. And I said to him, what does your wife think about this? And uh, he said, uh, oh, no, she's happy. She's staying in the UK and staying with the grandchildren. And of course, what happens? They get divorced. He loses far more money than the tax that he would have saved. And uh, so there are lots of non-tax considerations, and I completely agree with you.